What's up poker players? Hope you guys are out there check raising and trapping some fish. Today we're going to take a look at the big hands and suck outs that I had against players in my Sunday tournaments, which seem to be a lot less than what people sucked out against me, but let's look at them. You guys want to see the last video of all the big losses and bad beats here is the link if you want to use this HUD as well as tournament review software I am using hold a manager to look at my previous tournaments the link is down in the video description biggest chip win of the night came with this hand this is at the 1500 guaranteed we have ace nine on the button blinds and annies are at 13 8 I make a min raise into the big blind who jams all in we're getting great odds here better than two to one on our money so i'm making the call here with ace nine suited we are up against ace deuce perfect spot to be in and we wind up winning with ace nine high and knock one player out of the tourney and add ninety one thousand chips to our stack here we go here's a bad beat finally one goes our way blinds and annies are at 4800 we have about six revolutions right now blinds might have been going up very shortly so i might have been forced to make a, a jam here so i get it all in with ace nine we get a jam behind us from pocket jacks i think this was the same player we just got in that last hand with we wind up flopping an ace and a nine he's got outs to jacks only and he does not get there and we pick up that pot this is the moss number 46 event we get a jam from under the gun he was about to get blinded out we get a call from middle position or under the gun plus two and we get a jam from the hijack player this is setting up very nicely for our pocket aces and i put the rest of my chips in the middle position player folds we have 65,000 in the pot we're up against queen 10 and pocket sevens queen 10 gets a 10 on the flop we have to avoid a 10 a queen or a seven on the river and it's a three and we pick up that whole pot and knock out two players on that one now we're at the 1500 guaranteed we have pocket queens in the small blind under the gun plus one jams all in for 4400 and the button jams all in as well for over 21,000, we have 35,000 in our stack. We can see that the button player is pretty loose through the 12 hands that we have against him. And I think queens are going to play well against this player's jamming range. So I do make the call. We see that we're up against fives and sixes. That's a good spot to be in, especially when we flop a queen. King is a turn. These players are drawing dead going into the river. And we pick up almost a 50,000 chip pot. This is the 1500 guaranteed again we have pocket jacks under the gun plus one i make a raise a little bit larger than 2x to 5,000. we get a call from the hijack player and we get to see a flop heads up flop is ace high there is almost 16,000 in the pot i check back and i see that this player has a pretty high bet percentage through 87 hands pretty small sample size but i think we can play off of that and it's a good hand it's a good flop for someone to be c betting in representing the ace but a lot of times this player will not have the ace so i do make the call and there is our money card and now i hope that this player does have the ace there is over thirty-one thousand in the pot we have about forty-two thousand behind us i check back hopefully this player will represent the ace or bet his ace again or her ace again it says mom so i'm assuming it's a her and the river is a five that gives us the full house i think the best play would have been a check back here to try to induce a bluff from a hand that missed I think the ace probably would have continuation bet the turn when this player has an 80% turn bet as well. So I decided to jam all in and this player folds. Hindsight, I wish I would have check raised this player on the river. I think that's the only way we're going to get more value out of our full house. All right. We have King Jack offsuit and we are about to get blinded out. We have less than three revolutions. Jamming with King Jack onto the gun. We get called by the player to our left and we get jammed all in from the big blind and both players call and we see a three-way all in here king high is not that great against these we have a 24.36 percent chance of winning this one pre-flop but we hit a king on the flop that's what i'm talking about jack on the turn just have to avoid queens and tens going into the river we fill up by the river and triple up 
That one helped out a little bit. Once in a while, hands do go our way. Now we're looking at Pocket Kings from Under the Gun Plus One. This is the Big Ten, 1,000 guaranteed. I make it 22.15 to go, a little bit larger than 2X. It folds around to the cutoff who jams all in. Comes back to us. We're not gonna be folding Pocket Kings here from a player who has three bet 14% of hands over 61 hands. And I am making that call. Have to avoid another queen or an ace going into the turn and river and we do and knock out a player and pick up a 33,000 chip pot this is the 1500 guaranteed we are pretty deep in this tourney you can see that there are a lot of big stacks and we have eight nine offsuit in the big blind folds around to the small blind who bets into us I can see that this player has a very loose game so far high steal percentage low fold to three bet percentage so so the three bet is going to be out of the question with eight, nine offsuit. But I think we can see a flop here for only 3,900 chips into 12,600 pot. So I make the call, wind up flopping top pair and a gut shot. There's 16, five in the pot and he checks back. I put in a 55, 100 bets. I think we can get value from a lot of hands here. It's a pretty draw heavy board, low board. We are drawing to a straight and we have top pair. And he makes a call. There's now 27.5 in the pot and we wind up hitting our straight on the turn. And he checks back. I put in another small bet of only one third of the pot, trying to induce a call here and he does make the fold but we pick up a pot right there of 27.5 that helps the chip stack now we're at the big 10 1000 guaranteed we have pocket queens in the big blind we get a 3.3 x raise from the cutoff and it folds us we're going to be jamming here and putting the pressure on this player and they make the call with a6 suited wind up flopping an ace and a six but we hit our queen on the turn that's what i'm talking about wind up picking up that pot and knocking that player out that went from a 9.75 percent chance to 95.5 percent chance thank you queen we're at the number 43 event chip stack is getting very low we have ace queen offsuit in the big blind and we get a min raise from the cutoff player this player has a pretty loose range on the 145 hands but it doesn't really matter with how low our stack is and we have a a good hand here with ace queen so i jam all in put a little bit of full equity on this player he makes the call with 810 offsuit didn't think i was gonna see anything that week but we are in a great spot here with ace high he misses the flop he's drawing to an 8 a 10 or a 7 so there are a lot of outs and same thing going in the river the river six locks it up for us and we double up right there this is the number 43 event as well we have a 3x raise from under the gun and a jam from the button i think this is a good spot to get it in with queens so i do make the call for the 11,000 chips left in my stack see that we're up against sevens great spot to be in and he winds up missing all of the sevens and we pick up that pot right there this one we were deep in the 1500 guaranteed we have ace king under the gun just limps and i make it 4500 to go it is a 3x bet and he makes a call flop is nine high two tone two diamonds not very good for our ace high but I'm going to put in a continuation bet here to this player who has a 50% fold to continuation bet and we showed the aggression preflop let's continue it and show this player that we do have a strong hand even though the ace king really isn't that strong anymore any pair beats us but a lot of the small pairs are just going to be limp calling from under the gun so he does make the call the turn does not help our hand out very very much at all so I decided to check back here this player has a 25% bet on turn so if he did have a hand I think he would have bet it there and we could have gotten rid of this one so he checks back on the turn and we hit our ace on the river now I think we can get value out of this the only hand that we are truly worried about is a heart flush that got there I decided to put in a bet of 9,000 I think this is a good size to get in we can probably get a call from if there was a nine in this player's range that he called the flop with 
Maybe he'll call with a six if that's what he called with. But he does make the fold and we pick up a pot right there. Now we're looking at ace jack suited under the gun plus two. Open raise to 1055, a little bit larger than 2x. And we get a call from the player to our left. The small blind and big blind also come along. There's now 4620 in the pot. Flop is ace high two tone, two hearts out there. I decide to put in a small bet here. Don't want to let any draws get there for cheap. This is a relatively draw heavy board. Any ace hand with a kicker larger than ours probably would have been three betting pre-flop. So I think we're not too worried about hands like ace king or ace queen that could be out there. We do get called from the player to our left who has a relatively tight VPIP and has not three bet yet either. But he has a very small stack now and is well beyond pot committed here. So I decided to check back. I could see a lot of the smaller pairs like threes or eights just calling with my bet pre-flop and he decides to jam all in i'm not getting away from this one being so committed in this pot and i do make the call see that we have him out kicked and we pick up a pot of almost 19,000 with that one this was at the 1500 guaranteed we have pocket aces in the small blind and we get a limp from the cutoff player i make it 1250 to go and he makes the call on the cutoff Flop is nine high. There is over 3,100 in the pot. I continuation bet for half pot, and he makes a call. There is now 6,300 in the pot. We have about 7,000 behind us. I'm trying to figure out a bet size to get all the chips in. Although this is a relatively draw heavy board, don't want to let any draws get there for cheap. I see this player has a low fold to turn bet percentage as well. So I make it 3,100 to go, and he makes a call. We only have 4,000 left behind. Behind us I think we can get value and he makes the call with a pair of nines and we wind up doubling up in that tourney with pocket aces now we have pocket threes in the small blind this is the 500 guaranteed smaller tournament here and I am jamming with the pocket threes here I think this was on the bubble so I'm playing pretty aggressive here trying to get people to just fold but we do get a call from ace deuce not the best hand to be calling with from a jam he hits a deuce on the flop we have to avoid any more twos or aces the seven doesn't help and the six locks it up for us and we wind up knocking out this player now we have ace deuce hope this doesn't come back to haunt me folds around to us in the cutoff and i put in a steal bet here of five thousand we get called by the button and we see a flop heads up the flop is monotone all spades king high there is almost sixteen thousand in the pot i see this player has a pretty tight range over the 14 hands that we have against him he has folded 100% to flop bets. So I decided to put in a small continuation bet here. We don't have much value here with the deuces. So that really isn't in my consideration. And I am not betting for value here. But we do get a, a fold from this player. And we wind up picking up that pot. That adds to our chip stack. Which looks to be getting pretty deep in this tournament. The number 46 event. Again, head down to the video description. If you guys want to download Hold'em Manager. Which which I use daily when playing online poker. I highly suggest it. It is well worth it. And you get a 30 day free trial when you click, when you click below. Hit that subscribe button if you guys have not done that yet. Big thanks to all the subscribers already. We got a great community out there. And I really appreciate it, you guys, and love to hear from you guys. And love that you guys are enjoying the content and watching the videos and hopefully learning from it and improving your poker game. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out there. I said this on the last video. I'm going to say it again. If you guys have any good ideas for some poker challenges, let me know in the comment section below. Like volume. How many hands can I put in a day? How many tournaments can I play in a day? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll be back very soon with a brand new video, but until then, I'll see you guys out on the virtual felt.